Okay, so we're at Hemingway's house called Finca Vigia. Um, it's on the outskirts of Havana, and we're going to take a tour of his house, which is a museum. His wife donated it in 1962, I believe, right after he died in 61. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> We can't go inside though, because they uh, protect everything in there, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we men and all of the all of these things he could find them in a very perfect way in Cuba. That's why he came to Cuba yeah. later in the forties for fishing tournaments uh, that we had in the Havana State. In 1939. With his third wife, and they stayed for a long time at the Amsterdam Hotel, where he normally stayed in the 30s. But they decided to rent a house. They rented this property, and a, a year after that, he bought the house. He was spent a lot of money for the the movie version of his book, For Whom the Bell Tolls, and they bought the house. Let's look at it. He lived here. So, the house has a tower, you're going to see the tower now. He bought the house in 1940, the, the tower was built later in 1946, conceived for three main purposes on the ground floor. He was going to have all of the huge <laughs> cat family that he had he, in the 50s, could have, uh, got to have here 57 cats. So the ground floor was conceived for the cats, the second floor for his hunting and fishing uh, tools and the third floor for him to write. Do you think he like read all these or oh. even attempted to read I'm pretty half sure. of them? Really? Wow. Awesome. No. And between writing his own novels? Yep. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> but you know writers right? <coughs> writers nurse themselves and read other writers. That's right. I know, I know. Important, 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 important stuff in the in amazing. the house. That's important what writers do. Important stuff here in the in the library. Uh, uh, over there, by the door, this uh, white yeah. ceramic plate no, 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 no. that he bought in the Picasso workshops. Mm -hmm. you Can you see it? The yeah, one with that's the a cow? Picasso. The, the one with the cow, with the bull, yeah. Um, I couldn't believe I saw that. All the sticks on the top of the doors are as a way of keeping the negative influences outside of the house. He was a very superstitious person, so... Yeah. And, uh, well, on the top of the desk, I don't know if you can see it, there's a stamp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After he won the Nobel Prize of Literature in 1954, because of his novel, The Old Man and the Sea, he got the Pulitzer, he won the Pulitzer Prize in 1953, and a year after that, he won the, the Nobel Prize of Literature. After he got these two prizes, he received a lot of mail every day. So, as a way of uh, answering, he always used his stamp to the, I mean, to answer to the people he didn't like, he just sent back a white piece of paper with this on, on, on. He didn't like <laughs> with, with this on the paper. Do you know what the, the, what the stamp says? I never write letters.